chicken at home not only saves you a ton more money because you're paying a cheaper price per pound, it also helps you to utilize more of the bird that maybe you necessarily wouldn't buy at the grocery store. There are two schools of thought on butchering a chicken. The French classic, very old-fashioned way is to remove the wishbone, but it's much easier to remove if you wait until you actually get the breasts off the chicken. You want to make sure to take a paper towel and to wipe the bird down, um, so washing isn't necessary. Also, you want to make sure to remove the bag of gizzards. Some people forget it when they cook a whole chicken and it's not good. We're going to take the wing and um, there's a joint right here in the armpit of the chicken that is the, the first thing you want to go for. And you're just going to cut right through that joint. You're going to go for the armpit there and you're just going to take the wing right off. Working with the chicken is all about the joints. So to make buffalo wings, you're going to hit the next joint down on the chicken's wings. So there you have the little wing portion and the little drum. And then we have our whole wing here. The next plan of attack for the chicken is the legs. You want to make sure there's this nice flap of skin here. I like to get it as close to the breast as possible. I kind of massage it with my fingers. Makes it easier so you're not taking away any of the, the skin from the breast. Cut into the skin. And you're going to do it on both sides. Then you're going to flip the chicken on the stomach and break the legs. You're going to bend them all the way back. From there, you're going to catch this little part right here. This is the oyster on the back of a chicken. If you've ever noticed, they've got two nice little bumps or dimples here. Those are the oysters. It's the most succulent, delicious part of the chicken, I think. So you want to make sure when you're cutting with your boning knife to really, to really get the meat in there. I like to take the drumstick off the leg, which we're going to come back to the joint. If you put your thumb right on this little flap of fat between the drum and the thigh, you can feel where the joint is and you're always going to want to cut at that line. And so you have your chicken thigh and your chicken drumstick. This next part for the chicken, you want to make sure to remove the back. Inside of the chicken you can see there's ribs and there's a joint that you can take um, right at the ribs and cut all the way down or you can just it with your cleaver and that takes it all the way down. For the back, the spine, the ribs, you want to make sure to cut it down to size for chicken stock or chicken soup. Um, and so you just take your cleaver, a couple of clean hits. At this point you can also determine if you want your chicken breast to be um, boneless or bone in. So I'm going to flip the bird over. Inside of the chest of the chicken, you have the keel bone, and there's a little joint right here in the keel bone that, um, that you can cut um, to kind of open it up. You just make one little incision there, it's super easy. Turn it um, 180 degrees and make another incision. And this is kind of key, you don't always get it, but when you pop it, you really want to make sure to keep the keel bone intact. Um, you're going to take just the tip of your knife and run it down the cartilage of the keel bone and then run your fingers down to kind of separate the cartilage from the flesh of the chicken. And then you're going to take this bone, you're going to grab it because it kind of sticks out and you're just going to pull the keel bone and the cartilage right out of the chicken. You've got your two halves and there's the rib cage essentially and the wishbone left to take out. You're going to take your knife and run it under the ribs all the way up to where your wings were. Um, we have just a few bones left to take out. We have our wishbone and then we have um, part of the shoulder. There's a joint here that takes you all the way down into the wishbone and we're just going to follow the wishbone all the way down. Uh, we don't need to cut at the joint and you're just going to scrape down the bone your finger right under it and it'll come right out. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So you just pull it right out like that and you have the other half. Now you have your boneless chicken breast and the skin is the easiest thing to take off. Give it a little pull here over by where the wings were. A little pull 
down the middle and off to the side. Now we have our chicken breast completely cleaned of all our bones and our skin. The last thing I want to show you is chicken fingers. Tenderloins are loosely attached to the chicken breast and they just come off, they just pull right off. And see how easy that was?